Hey guys! So, today we're going to be doing a mukbang. <laughs> I am eating pizza and some hot buffalo wings. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, y'all don't understand, like, I have not eaten all day. I did not eat all day long. Only thing I had was a banana. And um, as you can see by the title, I will be telling you about the time where I almost died. True facts. <laughs> like, I literally almost died. But, okay. So, I'm about to say my grace. Sometimes I forget, but I gotta get back into that. So, yeah. Okay. Amen. So, like, I'm so excited for this pizza right now because... Hold on. Mm. Mm hmm okay good okay so anyway I'm about to start telling you what happened how I almost died so I was about six or seven years old probably five five six or seven not sure can't remember but It was this boy. Okay, you know what? No, I'm going to start from the beginning. Okay. So, one day, you know, it was the summertime. <coughs> fresh. <coughs> Wait, I needed some water. Ugh. Okay. So, as I was saying, it was summertime. You know, school just let out. You know, probably like the first time we're getting in a pool or whatever. So my mother bring out the pool. And I think I wanted to like ride my bike or something like that. But I had a flat tire. But I also wanted to get in the pool. So I guess like after I get in the pool, I wanted to like ride my bike. Okay. Even though I don't know how to ride a bike. Maybe I wanted to learn. I don't know. I still don't know how to ride a bike. That's an upstart. But anyway. So. Okay. So, you know, my mother bring the pool out. And since I wanted to ride my bike, my bike had a flat tire. So, what my mother did was, her and my grandmother, they both went down to, like, this, um, this car place, you know, to get the tire filled with air or whatever. And before my mother left, my mother told my brother and my sister, do not get in the pool. Do not let Jasmine get in the pool. When Jasmine is outside, y'all watch her. Okay? If she decides to get in the pool, if you decide to let her get in the pool, you have to watch her. Bam. The first thing she said before she left the house. Right? So they like, okay, okay. And she also said, if y'all go in the house, she have to get out of the pool, and she have to go in the house with you, right? I mean, it was teenagers at the time, so I mean, <laughs> she thought she could trust them, you know? She thought. Anyway, so they leave. They go and fill up the, you know, get air in the tire or whatever. And then, that's when... Stuff went down, okay? So, my, um, so I'm in the pool, or whatever, my brother and my sister, they at the door. And they tell me, Jasmine, we about to go in the house. You got to get out the pool. Me knowing that my mother said, if they go in the house, I have to go in the house too. I'm just being hard-headed. And I'm like, I don't have to go in no house. I'm not getting out the pool. You can't tell me what to do. Y'all not my mother or my father. That's what I told them. So, them being teenagers, and being like, oh, we can't tell you what to do? Okay, cool. We're going to leave you out here by yourself in the pool. <laughs> right? Okay. Mmm. Let's see this. Mmm. Yeah. The way I eat is a mess. It's just crazy. But anyway. So, they go in the house. 
I'm fussing at them. Y'all can't tell me what to do. I'm standing in the pool. Blah, blah, blah. I'm up here. Fussing at them. They're like, oh, so you want to get smart with us? I'm like, yeah. I don't care. Got my mama or my daddy. So, I'm standing my black booty in this pool. Okay? And I remind you, my mama wasn't there, so <laughs> I could do whatever I want at that point. But that's how I felt, anyway. So, stayed in the pool, and it was like, okay, cool. We're going to leave you out here by yourself, since you want to be so grown, and we can't tell you nothing. So, I'm playing in the pool. They leave me. I'm playing in the pool, having a good time. Splashing water. All that other stuff. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, y'all, I hear, like, footprints, like as if somebody jumped, right? And I remind you, I'm going to paint out a picture real quick. So the way that my backyard was set up, I had a gate over here. No, I had a gate on this side of me. Okay, so this is how I'm actually sitting in the pool, like Indian style, you know, with my legs crossed, whatever. So there's a gate right here. It's another house. It's attached houses. So it's another house next to mine. So I can see inside, you know, their yard. They can see inside of mine. Nobody is outside, just me, right? So in the back of me is a wall, like a brick wall, a cement wall. It's a cement wall. Um, and all the way around is cement. But it's like a little gate door um, on this side of me is a gate door. And, um, that's the door that my mother would, you know, go in or come out of the yard part. So, okay. I heard footsteps behind me, right? Like somebody jumped. I'm just like, you know, what the heck? Go to turn around. Before you know it, I went to turn around. And it was the boy down the street from me. Push my hair under the water. Okay? So at this point, I'm like, ah! Screaming, trying to like get up, stuff like that, or get somebody attention like my brother and my sister, but they in the house, they don't hear me. So I'm screaming and I'm lifting my head up and then he pushing my head back down and I'm lifting my head up and then he pushing my head back down. And I'm like, doing all this, going crazy, right? So my mother is coming back. Right? She's walking up the alley. She's coming back on the side where the, the, the wall, the, the, um, the cement wall, but it's like a little door right there, a little gate door. She's walking up that part of the alley. And all of a sudden, the boy, like, is gone. Like, he, like, run away or something like that. Like, he jumped back over the wall. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the heck? You know, I'm crying. I'm sitting there crying, screaming. My mother like, Jasmine, what what just happened? Like, what is going on? What is going on? Whatever. I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna just call him that boy. I know his name, but I'm calling that boy. I'm not gonna embarrass him like that because he tried to kill me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, that boy. <laughs> You know, I was like, that boy jumped over the wall and he held my head under the water and I was screaming and I couldn't breathe and blah, 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 all this other stuff. And my mom was like, are you serious? Like, he pushed your head under the water, blah, 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 I tried to kill my baby, you know? Where's, where's your brother and your sister? And I told her that they left me outside. I was like, he, they left me outside. So anyway, long story short, she took me in the house. And so before time, you know, my mother found out that somebody, okay, so the boy was like selling something illegal, right? I'm just going to say something illegal. It can be anything. He was selling something illegal. And, um, someone took it, right? And because that, you know, he, 
the boy, that boy wasn't supposed to have it anyway because he was like, you know, really young and underage and stuff, whatever. Had something illegal. Someone took it that I knew. And I guess to get back at that person, he tried to kill me. To get back at that person that took something that he had that he wasn't supposed to have anyway. Right? Okay. Turns out it was his mother's that the person that I knew took, you know, th that item that the person I knew took was that boy's mother's. So, okay. So that's why he jumped over and tried to kill me because he knew that he couldn't hurt that person because maybe he was too scared of that person and tried to hurt me. Okay. So my mother talked to that person and let them know, hey, you got to give him whatever he want back. Give it back because, um, yeah, we can't, I mean, my mother didn't tell that person, like, what happened or anything because that person, that boy, would have had a problem. <laughs> I don't want to say. Who would have a problem, you know? But the person gave it back, you know, the person ended up giving it back, and... Then the boy mother found out that he was that he was going that her son was going around trying to like sell her stuff. You know, he stole her stuff, tried to sell her stuff, and then he got it took. And then she was trying to like literally kill him. Like she was literally trying to kill him. Like, we was having, like, a block party. I don't know if you guys know what a block party is, but, you know, it's like when a whole block get together, block off two ends of the street, or sometimes you can block off multiple neighborhoods and have a whole block party, a whole neighborhood party, like, different neighborhoods. Come together and have a party. But that's what we did. What we used to. We used to do that, like, back in the day, you know? But, um... Yeah, like, at the block party, like, this it, this whole situation happened close to the block party. So, at the block party, that's when everything, like, came out. And, like, this lady was literally trying to kill her son for selling her stuff. Stealing her stuff and selling it. And everybody at the block party was just like... <laughs> like, she really go to it, like, trying to kill her son? Like, I mean, I know he shouldn't be stealing, but that is your son. Or is it? Because it ain't look like me and one of them. I don't even want to lie. I mean, I don't know. But I just was like... It's crazy. Crazy over here. So, anyway. That was the time that... If it wasn't for my mama... And the Lord above. Oh, I'm gone, man. Gone. It's crazy. But, yep, I'm here. And eating this pizza. Thank you. But, anyway, I ain't gonna finish eating. I might just finish this off camera or something. Oh, do y'all want to hear another story? Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Um, this will turn into an ASMR video where I'm just like eating and it's like rambling on and stuff like that. But this pizza is really good. Like, I really like this cheese. This cheese is thick. Like, mmm. But, anyway. I'm not done eating, but I'm going to wrap this video up because I don't want it to be too long. And, yeah, so I'm just going to wrap it up. So thank you guys for watching. I highly do appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Have 
a nice day. But no, ring the doorbell next.